Oh, yeah. You look at uh, one through four there. I'm looking at uh, Manu LeCompte. Uh, I think this is a versatile player, two-time all-conference player. He can shoot it from the outside, drive, create some uh, some plays, and he's got the rock now. Let's see what he do does as we get this 3x3 U National Championship underway for the first time ever here in San Antonio as Jackson gives him the two-piece with no biscuit. Well, that's what Donovan Jackson does. If you're not going to get a hand up, he is going to make you pay every time from three. It'll be a lot of threes, as Mark said. Very fast-paced game. Going to sure. have to get back on defense and be ready for anything. And a big adjustment for guys who have spent the majority of their careers, as we see the miss there, uh, playing five on five. Uh, again, I've covered this sport for a few years now. It is it is a different game in terms of the conditioning. It is literally a 10-minute sprint. Some good defense there on the outside, but he still got dropped off like the first day of school as Smith strokes the two ball. So two up, first minute of the game again. 10 minutes or the first of 21. Nice rebound underneath and score there from Sam. And Jared Sam, I mean, that's going to be a huge thing in, the, in these games. Can Biggs make an impact? Can they play with the fast pace right there? Sam doing a nice job. Yeah, and then Smith pulling up, showing that uh, that mid-range mid game. You said this when we were talking about this game, Kyle. It, it's oh. just you, you have no rest. This is an absolute sprint. No and if you're not ready, you're just getting you're gonna get open threes. We're gonna see so many three-pointers over the course of this weekend. You gotta have shooters on near athletic finish there. And and obviously I didn't mention earlier, 12 second shot clocks. So there's no time to play around with the rock. You gotta get it cleared and you gotta know exactly what you wanna do with your possession. Right there, we saw A.J. Mosby decide to, to dribble it back. You have to think clearing the basketball with the pass is going to be the best way to do it. It's the fastest way, catch the defense off guard. And now finally our first stoppage in play. Right now you can get a sub in, and, and you're going to have to think by the end of 10 minutes, oh, sure. guys are going to be extremely exhausted. Oh, and only one timeout uh, per team, and Big 12 playing a little bit shorthanded without uh, Kendall Smith. Uh, from Oklahoma State, he uh, injured his ankle in practice, so. No, no subs for the Big 12. So Ooh. no subs for the Big 12. <laughs> it could spell big trouble, because uh, they're going to be, they could be exhausted. Certainly a talented roster, but you said it, man. If, if you're not going to have somebody able to sub in, with the amount of three-pointers, the speed of the game, it could be tough. Oh, yeah. Oh, the pull-up two ball is uh, money in the bank. And we, we, we like Jackson. Oh, excuse me, Collins. Smith gets the dunk. But Max Smith going to be a guy. We saw him in the dunk contest last night. Has freaky vertical, has oh, freaky yeah. ability to get to that rim. Oh, yeah. Kind of derailed a little bit this year by a foot injury. But, yeah. There's Par Paris Collins there with the soft touch. He, he said that uh, his team is the brokest and the most turned. So let me <laughs> let me just translate that. Brokest means they, they, don't, they have the least amount of money. And most turned means they're the most excited to be out here playing. So. $1,000 <laughs> means a lot for this team coming from the SWAC. That's not coming from me. That's coming from them them themselves. Donovan Jackson, he, he said it yesterday. He goes, one-on-one -on -one is my game. Yep. And right now, he is showing. You said in the opening, oh, nice. if you can play one-on-one, -on -one, you, you can get exposed out here. Yeah. Because it, it mean, is a fast-paced deal. And if you're not ready to get your game on and guard a guy that's getting his game on, you can really – get destroyed. Oh, certainly. And, and, and that's a part of the appeal of the game is uh, if you have a guy who has great individual skill set and uh, you, you've got as, as much space as you need in the half court, I mean, th these are highlights waiting to happen. I hope everybody's got their ankles taped up as tight as can be. Jab step. Two ball, no. Swack on the attack. Foul on the drive. Got to get used to the game a little bit. That was called on the floor. Uh, but if it was in the process of the shot, not two free throws, one free throw, unless you're beyond the two-point arc. Harris Collins, a local guy. Yeah, from he's San Antonio. To be in here. He's from San Antonio. Have to think he's got some people here. Have to think he wants to show out. He didn't show out so much <laughs> on that drive, but. No. Good oh, ball fake. Comp with a nice ball fake. And, uh, Again, really had a great season for Baylor. The long ball is good. Two piece. It's a good defense there by Collins. He's heating Donovan Jackson. Oh, up. yeah. Listen, it, when you're lining up against a guy that's a direct challenge, it's mano y mano. He's 
see it, the hustle there. Oh, yeah. Trying to make a play for his team, and, and you just have to think, these guys from these smaller schools, man, you see these, these Big 12 players on TV all the time, have to think you finally get a shot at some of these guys. You're really licking your chops. You're trying to prove yourself. There's so much to be played for. Not only the $1,000 you can get from winning this game or the $50,000 from winning the whole tournament, yeah. but also trying to make a name for yourself, whether that's overseas or get yourself in some workouts or even into the ports with invitation. So there's a lot to play for here in San Antonio. Certainly. Like I said, these uh, we have a lot of guys who can certainly play at the next level. A lot of guys uh, who have had, you know, uh, outstanding collegiate careers and just see this as an opportunity to uh, again get some exposure and make some money they're gonna reset the shot clock to two seconds quick catch and shoot by Smith and he's off the mark swack with the rebound now on the attack this is an interesting matchup right here AJ Mosby a guy second team all swack can yeah. really score the basketball average 15 a game for Alcorn State yeah, you shot. got Zach Smith guarding you. Got to think he's thinking, man, I got to get my game on here. Oh, listen, he's thinking it's Monday morning. It's time to go to work. Yes, it is. <laughs> yeah, shot it is. shot 40 percent from three. Uh, senior season ranks third all time in Alcorn history. So our second game is uh, getting ready to get underway here, in just a bit. As we. Have approached uh, mid the near midway mark of uh, game one of this inaugural 3x3 U National Championship. 10 to 8 game. And only two fouls committed. Yeah. Meantime, on our other court, getting warmed up for our second game of the day. That's the red court at Mountain West and American East. So we'll be uh, we'll be bouncing back and forth between both games, so you guys don't miss uh, miss much action, because it's gonna be it's gonna be filled with it throughout the day. Once again, we got 23 pool play games. We'll be playing well into the evening here in San Antonio, getting started early tomorrow as well. Three days of play that'll culminate in our championship game. Start our quarterfinals on Sunday. We got a lot of basketball to be played between now and then. Once again. Kyle Montgomery in your ear, and along with uh, Robbie Hummel at this first ever 3x3 U National Championship presented by Dos Equis. It is going to be Interessante. Man of the comp is Interessante. That dude is getting to the rim right now. He, he is doing whatever he wants. Four for four on the day. Got six points already. Oh, strong drive. Score. Comp trying to track it down. Out of bounds to uh, to the SWAT. Jared Sam's going to check in. Out of Southern. Uh, Robbie's going to head over to our American East uh, Mountain West game. I'm going to stick with you with uh, SWAC and Big 12. With the SWAC in front, 14 to 11 now. We'll be checking back in with Robbie uh, here in a bit. Let's see if uh, see if the underdogs can keep putting on the big boys from the Big 12 with that three-point advantage. So after stripe now. Sam, free throws, money in the bank. Sam scored more than 1,400 points and grabbed 900 rebounds, 129 career games. So he's got some good size down there on the block. So he's happy his team holding on to this four-point. Great backdoor cut. Clark with the two-handed smash. And it's 16 to 11. And listen. This SWAC team has played a, a played a pretty good game. They haven't even committed a single foul. So they played a clean game on the defensive end. And you see the five-point advantage. Less than four minutes to play here in the uh, first game of the day. And a timeout on the floor as uh, each team will get just one. 16 to 11. SWAC in front. Hey, Robbie, 
Robbie, what's, what's going on at the, uh, at the other, other court, man? Right now, not a lot. Just 4-2 early action. Both teams kind of feeling their way out through this one, getting in the paint. Defense needs to kind of pick it up here. A little bit too easy right now for both teams on the offensive end of the floor. There we go. There's some D. Yeah. I guess one steal deserves another. So a 4-2 game. Fourth. Uh, listen, the, the scores change rapidly in three on three. <laughs> Robbie, uh, appreciate the update. We'll be checking back in with you here momentarily. No doubt. Again, good. America East up six to three over the Mountain West as we get back to a swack and Big 12. With the S Dub AC still putting it on. Mosby knocked that one down from Mobile. And it's 18 to 11. Jackson able to uh, draw the foul there. All Big 12, honorable mention out of Iowa State. Started 30 games. And this dude, talking about improving his game, he upped his scoring average from, from six points as a junior to 15 as a senior as he uh, adds a free throw in there. It's still a six-point game with the swag in control. Looking for more down low. They get it to Sam. Draws the foul, bump and the bucket. Chance for a two-point play. Jackson didn't like it. He's going to have to deal with it. And again, every game has a financial incentive. A thousand dollars to the winner. And the swag look like uh, they're going to be closing in on a victory here. Although uh, anything can happen. That two-point shot is, a, is the great equalizer as the three is in the five-on-five five game. But in the same, in the same breath, the two-piece would end it. And there's a mid-range knock from Sam to make it 22-11. This thing could be ending early. Now out of bounds off the uh, Big 12. And swag ball. So the Dos Equis 3x3U National Championship off to a good start. Game point for the swag. As Sam draws another foul, he's, he's put a ton of pressure on the Big 12. No, no 32 seed has ever beat a one seed in 3x3U history, by the way, just in case you are. Uh, you didn't know, courtesy of Robbie Hummel. <laughs> uh, until, until now. 